All right, let's do this. Kim Gagi, everybody. What a beautiful morning. Well, happy officially St. Patrick's Day. Since it actually is St. Patrick's Day, I was thinking I will go down to a bar in downtown Norfolk and uh, maybe have my first ever pint of Guinness. It'll be interesting. So you've seen this a couple of times in my videos. This right here is where the whole entire uh, uh, parade was going on, which I found out, I think it's the largest St. Patrick's Day parade on the East Coast. And uh, I got to see it yesterday. I guess it's been canceled for like three or four years uh, due to weather or due to uh, other circumstances. And it was nice to have, you know, seen it now. It's my house key ringing if you hear it ring. skunk smell there and I mean the marijuana the skunky skunk again something you don't smell in a car all the time but something if you're on a motorcycle and you're driving and I'm not saying that this car in front of me is smoking I'm just saying you can smell people smoking you know on the street walking by and you get a whiff of it in your helmet or you'll know it the, is the car in front of you or in 10 cars in front depending on the strength of the smell is that you know that you're following somebody that's smoking pot didn't really want to get onto that but it is green and it is you know St. Patrick's Day so hey light it up where the hell I'm going but I'm letting my nose guide me oh big plate I don't know what that is but it looks slippery welcome to downtown Norfolk hey Blake where did you go in Norfolk I have no clue Oh, okay. Well, now everybody's going to know where I'm at. As you can see there, the dog is telling the owner where he wants to go. I'll bring you here one day. He just went through a red. Grace, so, yeah, I think that's the place that I want to go. Now it's just finding a spot that I can just park in. See what I can do here. I'm gonna apologize right now. Didn't know I looked like this much shit in the morning. It's called. Took a shower and threw a helmet on and came down here. So we're gonna try Irish Dew in my Irish pipe. And we got the. Look at that. 
Whew. I thought Irish Day, you know, St. Patrick's Day. Peterson from Dublin. Irish Dew was complimentary to uh, the holiday. Hey, maybe a little uh, tinge of um, citrus or something like that in there. It feels like gold, uh, Orla Golden Slice uh, after you break apart the flakes. And pretty easy to pack. It was um, a little dry, but we'll see how it goes. Let's light her up. I hear bagpipes down the way. So I came to this restaurant, Grace O'Malley's. It's downtown Norfolk. I thought, what a better place to have a tobacco review on St. Patrick's Day. It's gonna go out, but let's go ahead and read this. This is a luxury mixture of well-matured Virginia and roasted burley tobaccos with whiskey and blossom fruit undertones. The sweet hint of vanilla and a touch of chocolate. Arising from the toasted burley gives this tobacco an exceptional finish. The blend is pressed into cakes and rubbed to enhance the natural aroma of the tobacco. So that's the, uh, I said I'm probably gonna have to move you because she's gonna move the car here. Just has some, uh, the hay notes, a little bit of a citrus note. Um, it kind of actually tastes like, uh, I like to do a back-to-back -back comparison with uh, Orlick Golden Slice and this one. Not only because it feels like it, kind of smells like it, I don't taste any vanilla, I don't taste any chocolate. I will tell you, I've smoked out of this pipe before. It's a uh, Paycock. It says Paycock Briar. No matter how you puff it, it gets hot. Uh, the paint on it has bubbled. Um, it gurgles. So I gotta put some of those keystones in it. You might wanna mix like some chocolate in there or you know a nice good vanilla undertone in there that, that probably would spark this up I don't know how old the package is but I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this bowl and uh, we'll take a look around and see if I get to go inside and have my first Guinness ever in my life I could see living downtown walking I'd have to learn the where I can park and where I can't park see if the city tickets motorcyclists for parking on you know walkways I have a whole bunch of places I want to do videos down here Maybe I could come down here and do a Sunday morning smoke. I got a lot of ideas. The shed happens. Motorcycle down to downtown Norfolk. Do a Sunday morning smoke every morning. You know, Sunday morning. I mean, it's... Almost 10 o'clock. And it's quiet like I like it. Like, you know, 
somebody walks by you every two minutes, but it's not overcrowded. It does look like it's hard to find parking places. So, I don't think it's a problem finding a motorcycle spot, but again, God, I, I might need glasses too. I just don't see detail. There's a ton of shit down here. Tons of restaurants. One of my favorite sounding restaurants is called the, uh, similarly like the Grilled Cheese Bistro. I have a funny feeling I'm not gonna like it though, cause you know, I'm a simple kind of guy. So I kind of like, you know, if you want to do a grilled cheese, just putting in different types of cheeses and then grilling it like on the uh, movie Chef. But I don't want them to put you put in like pesto sauce or whatever else. I don't mind if it's like a dipping sauce for a grilled cheese. You know, I'm a grilled cheese and ketchup kind of guy. I know some of the people just turn their stomachs here on that, but I don't know. I love it. It's the only thing I almost put ketchup on. Maybe some French fries. Young lady is looking. She said that there's supposed to be bagpipes. So I heard bagpipes. going to sit here and enjoy the rest of this bowl. Yeah, as far as this tobacco is concerned, it's a little spicy towards the back of your throat, but I think I'm just going to let it settle and sit in a jar for a week or two and see how that ages it. First sip of this. Cheers. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't take a tester. That was good. I liked it. I could maybe buy some more of this. All right, that's all I'm doing. See you on the bike. All right, well, I feel like I'm out of the city now, so I will uh, discuss how my first Guinness went. What a phenomenal beer. And uh, as far as the restaurant is concerned, it was damn pretty good. I got a, uh, what they called the cheese wrap. Had a whole bunch of veggies shoved into a wrap. And then uh, had some chips as they call it. Yep, french fries. And uh, you know, I like the beer so much I had two so uh, it is not what I thought it was as far as you know I thought I was just gonna get a pint of motor oil guy even offered me a, uh, a test before I had one he's like have you ever had it and I'm like this is my first time 50 years old never had a, a Guinness and he goes let me give you a test I said no nope, just give me the pint so uh, he comes over halfway through the pour to let it sit 
and tells me what I need to do and you know he goes you got to get that lip underneath all that foam and take yourself a, a nice sip of the beer when you when you get it. I said okay so long story short get the beer get that lip underneath all that foam I kind of fell in love with it looking forward to a uh, another pint of it Sorry, I just hit a bump and I had a, a little air bubble in my throat. So, I'd give it a uh, five star for my meal and I'd give it a five star for the beer so uh, you know maybe a, a 4.8 um, no nah, I'll give it the five it was a perfect uh, single guy go to a bar experience what the beer is they poured it right and uh, I felt like that was, uh, yeah, definitely five. Definitely gave him over a 20% tip. That's my only problem with today. How much? Damn. Going out to eat. I mean, it was just a lunch, and it, what was that, $42? It's a wrap and two beers. You know, after all the money that YouTube's going to pay me for this, you know, it'll cover the cost of the tobacco, the pipe, the restaurant, the beer. <laughs> hey, you really are stupid, Blake. Even the guy at the bar was like, "Hey, you make any money off of YouTube?" I'm like, uh, "Yeah, it's you know, th does negative numbers, you know, get involved? Yeah, I mean, you know, my time and the expense and." <laughs> no, I don't make a penny. I mean, I gave the guy a sticker next to me. You might look it up. You might find one video that he, he likes. Who knows? Maybe even might pick up pipe smoking. He said he was trying to do gaming online, like to, to video. He goes, you know, I get all the stuff I need in three hours. But then he goes, This is not a dream. It takes me like 10, 10 hours to do the edit, editing. And I go, yeah, uh huh? I'm like, t you know, if you're getting your editing done in five to seven hours, that's fucking awesome. All in all, I couldn't have asked for a better day. Alright, well everybody, happy St. Patrick's Day. This is the uh, holiday for what I believe Americans only celebrate. Uh, that, if you're Irish, to be proud. Just another holiday to get drunk. And this one's going to be a hard one because people have been partying since Friday night. They got completely wasted. Saturday at the uh, parade and then it's St. Patrick's Day today so don't ask me why I'm parking this way I think I'm gonna go take a nap embrace the side Most people around here probably haven't seen a man smoke a pipe and they probably think I'm smoking like crack or weed. Good God. Blake, you need a haircut. God, I look like shit this morning.